Recently, I decided to buy an open box Aeron for 60% off retail prices on Amazon. But were they being honest about this listing? Let's take a closer look. As I start to unbox this Aeron, let's talk about the general condition guidelines that are found on Amazon.com for products that are considered used open box. So what we ordered was listed as used, like new, or open box, the first option, and it's an item in perfect working condition. Original protective wrapping may be missing, but the original packaging is intact and in good condition with minor damage possible. Instructions are included. My experience here is quite a bit different as we see as these things are coming out of the box using an unmarked brown box and covered in a white garbage bag with masking tape to hold it in place. Having purchased Herman Miller before, the unboxing experience is, well, I'll just say quite a bit different and they're all about showcasing their brand. The tier below open box is used very good, a well cared for item that's seen limited use. Next, used good. Items show wear from consistent use, but it remains in good condition and functions properly. And last, used acceptable. The item is fairly worn, but continues to function properly. Now that we have everything assembled, I can verify this is an Aeron Classic. Now, Herman Miller stopped producing this version of the chair in 2017, moving to the Aeron Remastered. When you place them side by side, as you can tell here, the differences are fairly obvious. Taking a closer look at the condition of this chair, the casters had a thick layer of dirt on them. When you actually looked in the box, you could see a lot of this had transferred off the wheels onto the box itself. Now, if you rolled this in your house, the carpet would look like the inside of the box. The casters didn't roll very well either. Based on this Aeron Classic had also been painted. Now, this is a fairly common process in refurbishing as people's feet on the base tend to wear the paint off the ends of the five-star base, and a couple coats of high-quality paint made to match can definitely improve the overall look. The base itself was dirty like the casters, so wherever this was stored, it was definitely dirty. Fortunately, after assembling the backrest of the chair, the rest of the chair looked pretty clean from the outside. Now, we'll find out how clean it really is when we remove the mesh seat insert. In another video I did, I bought a new open box Aeron on eBay and found all the dirty secrets of the chair in this area. Before we start taking this chair back apart, I want to test all the functions to ensure that they're working as an open box Aeron on Amazon should. The first thing I noticed when I sat down in this Aeron was that they were using the newer version of Herman Miller's arm pads. You could tell that they were used quite a bit from some of the discoloring and scratches that will happen over time, but they were fully intact and this softer OEM pad from Herman Miller is definitely desired. The arm adjustments also work well. First testing height adjustment, they moved up and down while also locking firmly in place. Pivot adjustment for the arm pads was also consistent. As I moved on to the height adjustment for the actual chair itself, it adjusted up and down smoothly, held its height, and the cylinder looked clean. Now, one of the best features of an Aeron is its recline feature. This Aeron was smooth and reclined without any squeaks or creaks. I adjusted the tilt tension and this worked as well. Now the Aeron Classic tilt tension adjustment is a bit wonky in my opinion, requiring like 50 to 100 turns to even feel any change. So don't give up too soon if you're testing out a used Aeron, it's likely you just haven't made enough turns. Now last, since this was a three paddle Aeron, I tested the forward seat tilt. This engaged and functioned as it should. Overall, this Aeron was in perfect working order, outside of, of course, the casters. Now it was time to start pulling the chair apart to see what was hiding under the mesh and this personally is one of my favorite things to do even though it's kind of gross. Pulling the seat mesh out we can actually see how dirty this chair was and as expected it was pretty gross with a bunch of buildup from someone who had been sitting in the chair for multiple years at minimum. The front seat pad with the waterfall edge was in pretty good shape though and we've seen these come in the past completely pancaked. I'm talking flat and absolutely disgusting. Now, I was able to see my first date for a component on the chair here as well and the seat frame was actually dated from 2011. Now, I was really curious if the actual core chair which includes the mechanism will match this date. True open box product will be all intact from Herman Miller. Refurbishers on the other hand will part out different portions of the chair and rebuild them back with functioning parts. After pulling the mechanism cover off, I was happy to see that this area of the chair was clean. The cover was clean as well. 
So the areas that are somewhat easy to take apart were cleaned on this chair. Now, the date list on the mechanism was in fact different though. 2014, so pretty new era, but the parts have been mixed up. So best case, this product, in my opinion, would be used good or used acceptable. Now, if you like this video, check out the other video where I bought a new open box Aeron on eBay. Thanks for watching.